Hello and welcome back to Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Uh, I have no how long this. I have no idea how long this final trial can last. Uh, in all honesty, I have no clue at all. I think we're close, but in the end, I think we're also very far away from it even coming close to being near finished. But uh, what I can say is that. Uh, this is one of the longest recording sessions I've had for this game, or even in total, so that's enough of that. Let's get back. What? We are bored of this world. We? Everyone always talks big, declaring all the great things they'll do, but then they always fizzle out. This world is just so desperately fucking boring! What are you talking about? In a way, I'm jealous of all of you. To give yourself over so completely to such stimulating despair? Yeah, so figure out the rest for yourselves! I'm sick of expositioning all this shit! Figure out... what? Figure out where your memories come apart. That's at the heart of all of this. Come apart? Where our memories come apart? She's talking about the moment where we must have lost our memories? I can only think of one time. Just after I set foot in the main hall for the first time. And that was... When I fainted? I got it! The moment I lost my memory. I can't think of any time other than... Yeah, I'm gonna need some explaining what this game means by... Because I, I did spend years, or at least a year here. So I'm confused about fainting. When I first came to the gates of this school and stepped foot in the main hall, when I passed out, I was overcome with a strange sensation. Other times, I've been... I've been observant about what's to come, and then I could form stuff right alongside. This, just like, uh... Was it the case before, or was it... Yeah, I think it was the case before. I've just been along for the ride. Um, so I don't know much about the details, but it seems like everyone remembers passing out, right? Mm-hmm. And your sense of time got all messed up because of the memory loss after that? Yeah, so what made us faint? I passed out. I woke up in a classroom with my head on a desk. I assume not much time had passed since I'd collapsed in the main hall. <laughs> but instead, two whole years had gone by. The reason it felt so short was because our memories of the time in between had been completely removed. Yeah, but why did we all faint? <laughs> You got it, honey! Two years of memories? <laughs> Gone! Which means, of course, when everyone met for the first time, it wasn't actually for the first time. Unaware of this fact, you took the time to introduce yourselves to each other, but... But by that point, we'd already spent two years together at the school. That's what those photos reveal, isn't it? Once your school life here began, I thought about you constantly. Huh? It's only natural that I would fall in love. In love with what, precisely? So, since I love you guys so much, I'll tell you all about it! All about the idea we came up with as the ultimate despair! Our plan to bring despair to all mankind! The ultimate despair? 
all mankind? Let's go back in time, two years, okay? Mm-hmm. Back to when everyone first came to this school. Okay. School life during that first year overflowed with hope and happiness. Mm-hmm. Oh boy, it was just the worst. <laughs> Everyone was enjoying themselves so much! You were all having the time of your lives! But that couldn't last forever, of course. The peacefulness only made it through that first year. Because after that, an event unfolded that hammered a soul-crushing despair into all of humanity. Oh, that's what was so urgent about the interviews. Because they couldn't... Because he wanted to confirm whether or not that they would want to stay here. Yeah. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. The tragedy. All too soon, the world's days of peace came to a bloody end. And as you can imagine, the school was no exception. The tragedy even made its way here, leading to the extermination of most of the students. Holy shit! What are you? Hmm? What do you mean? The most tragic event in human history. And the ultimate despair that caused it. I can't believe it's all because of just you and Mukuro. Was it some kind of organization? An angry mob? An incredibly motivated family? You have a point. If I had to describe it, I'd say it was none of those. How can I put it? It was more of an ideological thing. Despair is contagious, you know. It's almost like... A natural phenomenon. Everyone is capable of it. And now the entire world has fallen into despair. In other words, if you see despair as the enemy, then your enemy is the world itself. I just don't understand why. We didn't ask you to try to understand. This was a tangent anyway, unrelated to the matter at hand. Okay. So, let's get back to the story. Yes, please, because I'm still... Well, as much as any of the other students are, I'm still trying to piece everything together. Hope's Peak had taken so much damage. You guys were the only survivors. Huh. Wait, are we all from different... classes? Or is... Uh, or is Hero actually with us in our grade, or is he, like, a few grades above us? The members of the 78th class mind. of Hope's Peak Academy? We're the only ones left. But why us? And then, something super neat happened! How us? Now pay attention, cause this is important, and I'm only gonna say it once! So guess what? To protect everyone who had survived, Hope's Peak was transformed into a shelter! That's why everything's barred up. That's right! It was transformed into a shelter! Ah, I said it twice! Now... Someone was responsible for that transformation. For creating what would eventually become your prison. Do any of you know who that might have been? The Headmaster. The one who turned Hope's Peak into a shelter and isolated us here. <laughs> Prime Minister. I got it! He really did want to protect us. Been the Headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. He wanted to turn the school into a shelter to try and protect us. To protect us from the despair and tragedy taking place outside. That's why he asked us to make that promise. To say that we were willing to live in this school forever. We believe he had something like that in mind, yes. So the thing with Kyoko actually would have worked out. <laughs> and she would have been bored as hell. If you hope of a new generation could survive, maybe the world could have a fresh start. Yeah, the headmaster put that much faith in you. And because we had that same hope, that's why we all agreed to live here forever. But creating the shelter was also his single biggest mistake. Laughable, really. He was the headmaster, but he had no idea that the two of you were also part of it. He had no idea that we, the ultimate despair, had already made our way into the school. 
So what was supposed to be a shelter to keep you safe became a cave that made it impossible for you to escape despair. <laughs> I have to say, it really helped me out a lot. It saved me a ton of time. By the way, it was you yourselves who blocked off the windows, the doors, all the exits. Under the headmaster's direction, you all went about your work like obedient little sheep. You mean we trapped ourselves in here? But what about the guns? I can understand the one at the main entrance, but what about the gun to the uh uh bathroom? That's what I'm mainly concerned about. Also, how does the food get restocked? And then you forgot all about it and started bitching about how you were trapped in here. Once you finished building your little shelter, it was time for me and Mukuro to get to work. And thus began the killing game. Hmm. Me and Mukuro have come here, spending the last two years waiting for that moment. That moment where you all began killing each other served as the climax of our global despair plan. So... It was just a random event that made the entire world go fucking nuts. Is what I'm in, is what I'm supposed to believe. The world went crazy. We boarded ourselves up, and then what? How did how did you take over uh, the school? How did you uh, overcome the headmaster? And how did you erase our memories? And the only reason you survived the tragedy was so that you could be a part of it. So we could go around killing each other? Is that what you're saying? Why? Why would you do that? Because this was so much more than a simple high school death match. Rather, it was a method to hunt down and destroy every last remaining speck of hope in the world. What are you saying? Well, it would seem that there's a little bit left out there. A few souls unwilling to give up hope. So not just us. So I thought I should show them, which is why I... <laughs> well, why don't you tell me? What the Mastermind did to show everyone in the outside world. That what, what, what the Mastermind did to show everyone in the outside world, that was the broadcast, yeah. Okay, we are actually... TV show, broadcast, what am I spelling? Hijack, hijack, hijack. Ah! Oh, thank God. There we go. Now I understand. <laughs> thank God you don't take damage from accidentally hitting one letter. Odd. You're Oddly. You're talking about you hijacking the airwaves, aren't you? Uh-huh. That's exactly what I'm talking about. To show the world the murders taking place at this school, which was meant to be a symbol of hope. That was the whole point of the ultimate despair! When I said climax, that was what I was talking about! The world watched as you fell into despair and began to kill each other one after another. Despair is as contagious as any disease. Any hope left turns to despair. <laughs> Isn't the power of television just amazing? By the way, since we started broadcasting, a whole bunch of people have tried to come and rescue you! Okay. Uh, are you serious? But utilizing the heavy weaponry I installed around the school grounds, I had no problem expelling them. Oh, so you put up the... Shit, you were the one that put up the guns. Expelled them? I have to thank you all. Hmm. Uh. They were a relentless bunch, refusing to give up on hope and trying to force their beliefs on the world. But in the end, I was able to give them the final despair. Death. So you just used us? To bring despair to everyone in the outside world? Well, sure, but I also gave you a second chance at life, right? So it's like, give and take! Give and take? You're so full of shit! All right, there we go, Makoto. And there's a reason I chose you guys to survive when all the other students were dropping like flies. I mean, we built up two years of memories together. You were all my treasured classmates. Sorry, that's a lie. 
I just figured you'd despair even more when you found out a friend had betrayed you. And that's the truth, which is what you wanted, right? So, does it make you feel utterly lost and hopeless? You solved the mystery, but despair at the truth, right? Don't tell me. Did you seriously count on the possibility that we would solve your mystery? And if we did, then what? Our final desire for creating this world of despair was so we could experience one last class trial. If you were bold enough to solve the mystery, only to discover that the truth was utterly hopeless, how would you react? What would you do? I would be defeated and then realize that I had my friends right alongside of me. See? Discovering the truth doesn't necessarily lead to a sense of hope. Truth can be full of despair, too! Mm -hmm. Like right fucking now! Truth... Uh, full of despair? That's... Not to mention, all those motives I talked about were totally meaningless. I mean, with the world having ended and all. Meaningless? Then we... have been murdering each other? For nothing? And think about it. You chose to lock yourselves up here, then started murdering each other to get out. I'm still wondering how you got us to lose our memories, but oh well. We weren't just random strangers either. We were classmates. We'd spent two years together. <laughs> no, even I can't laugh at that. <laughs> we get it. We get it, okay? You're totally awesome, right? We get it already! So help us! I'll do anything! Just help me! A peasant begging for his life? Oh, how delightful! We've never witnessed such a travesty firsthand! But I'm sorry to say, begging doesn't work on me! All I want is despair, and there's no reason for it. And since there's no reason, there's no argument against it. There's just no understanding it. No argument, no understanding. What better definition of ultimate despair could there be? Wait, hold on. You've just been going on about whatever you feel like, but but there's no real reason for us to believe anything you have to say. Damn, Makoto. Huh. Huh? You say the world's fallen apart, but I haven't seen it for myself. Damn, Makoto, okay. So I don't acknowledge it. I don't accept it as the truth. Until you see it with your own eyes, truth and falsehood overlap one another. In other words, you're not unlike Schrodinger's cat right now. Is that what you're saying? Sure. If so, what then? Are you saying you won't accept the truth until you can go outside and see for yourself? Well, you better not. You go out into that world and you're all gunners for sure. Trust me. But why? What what could possibly be going on? Like, what exactly is causing all this chaos is what I want to know. Like, it looked like everybody just... It, it was kind of like Joker and all of his minions that just decide to go alongside of him. At some point, everything just stops. What do they have against us? Like, what is their ultimate goal? <laughs> like, I, I'm, I'm still lost for that. Well, even if it's all true... I refuse to give in! I refuse to lose to you! For the sake of everyone you've killed! Huh? Everyone I've killed? What are you talking about? You're the ones who killed them! I didn't kill anyone. I simply gave you a little nudge in the right direction. And that's all it took for you to start killing each other. You're nothing but bloodthirsty animals. That's why anyone was murdered here, peasant! Say what you want about hope! of instinct, right? Despair comes naturally! Oh yes! <laughs> That's funny as shit! No! This isn't just some game to us! It's murder! Plain and simple! You stole our memories! Invented reasons for us to do it! You pushed us all into a corner! There we go, Makoto! It's all your fault! Ooh. You certainly have a talent for passing the buck, don't you? That must be your hope, huh? But we don't have much time left to keep up this banter. We have to draw things to a close soon. What do you mean? I'm talking about the vote, of course! You didn't forget about that little rule, did you? 
Okay, so what's the vote gonna do? Because we know you're just gonna escape somehow. Or maybe you might actually die. Who, who, who knows? Oh, and also, since this will be the last vote, I decided to change the rules. Ugh. What? You guys so full of hope, and me so full of despair. I've decided to have you vote which one will be punished. If even one of you votes to punish hope, well then... I'll consider that a win for me, and punish everyone on the side of hope! Even if it's just one person? Oh, but don't worry, I won't be voting, of course. Even if you don't, you've still got the upper hand in all this! It's okay, nobody would actually vote to kill themselves, right? Oh, let me just mention one more thing. When I win, to punish you guys, You'll have to stay here till you grow old and die. No fighting, no killing. That's your punishment. Hmm. That doesn't sound too bad to me. You mean we just... We'd have to just live here? She's saying she'll let us live! I mean, we already agreed to it once before. If you're not happy with that, then go ahead and punish me. And make your way to the outside world. Enter a world fallen from grace, where only despair exists, where you'd likely be dead within a day. We don't know that for certain. I've already mentioned this. We don't know, like, we don't know if everything's done as well. What are you saying? So no matter what, we're doomed. Wait a sec. I just got hit with an inspiration bomb. Dying of old age is boring as shit, right? The audience at home isn't going to dig that at all. So, here's what'll happen. One of you will get to experience an instant, super impressive punishment. Oh, no. What? You... you can't just... Do you mean to say, you'll execute one of us? And I get to decide who's gonna have to suck it down! Why? I thought you were all about, like... I don't know. Makoto! So let me make this clear. Everyone has two choices in front of them. If a single person votes for hope to be punished, then only Makoto will receive a harsh punishment, and the rest of you will live here in peace. If, on the other hand, you desire to see us punished, then you must all leave this place. I will force you out, ensuring you all die horrible deaths in the outside world. What I'm saying is, if you sacrifice Makoto, the rest of you will get to live out your lives! Sacrifice me? What that's... What? Has your resolve softened? Have you lost confidence? Are you afraid of being punished? Honestly, I just want to see her die, but oh well. Don't you have faith in your friends? No! That's not it! It's okay. You're right to be afraid. I'm still wondering how you manipulated our minds and how you're getting all this fucking food. I want to know those two things. Because if you can still get the supply of food, that means that we could still get the supply of food. If we leave here and we all vote for you to die, if I, I doubt that you will, there's still a chance that we just come back in and actually just live our lives the right way in here without you. I don't... Uh. It would seem all of those around you have realized the futility of going against me. Mm. Guys? Okay. It's so beautiful. Your lovely faces, eroded by despair, have come together as one. Besides, Yoko, you could never betray your father, could you? What? I mean, the headmaster's only wish was that all of you would survive, right? That's why he tried to trap you all here, after all. Not trap us. Keep the us safe. The you can do is try to honor your dead father's wishes. <laughs> Kyoko, one person's despair is enough to seal your fate. Isn't that just the most hopeless outcome ever? So, who do you think's gonna give in? Whose despair is gonna sign your death warrant? No one. Nobody's gonna give in to despair! 
we're not gonna lose to you! So boring. Stubborn till the very end, huh? Well, that's fine. Then let's just hurry up and get it over with. It's time for the final vote. Everything will come to an end. Your stupid hope. And your stupid life! The final vote. This is it. The ultimate confrontation. I have to show everyone. I have to make them remember. I have to convince them not to give up. To live in despair. That's not really living at all. Okay. Group photo. Photo of Kyoko and Headmaster. Locker notebook. Hmm. We won't Twenty. give up. As long as there's hope, we'll never give up. If I were to die, that would be the end of Hope's Peak Academy. <laughs> okay, can't refute that. By the way, the air outside is totally polluted, you know. The only reason we're okay in here is thanks to the air purifiers in the physics lab. Still can't refute. I've only seen die, hope that I can gain. Fires will screech to a halt. In other words, as soon as I die, the communal life you've all been living will come to an end. Okay, okay, that makes. Psh. All of you will have to leave. You'll have to go into the world outside, where only death and despair are awaiting. So, what are you gonna do? Will you just die? Is that what you want? What? There is no hope left in the world. When you sleep, it's on a bed of despair. This is her. The world is in despair. You are in despair. I... What?! <laughs> I lose points just for that?! If I don't do something, everyone's gonna be consumed by despair. Hold on. What? What? What's there to refute? As long as there's hope, I'll never give up. I don't even know what my bullets are. God damn it. Do I just have to absorb hope and break everyone's silence? Is that what it is? This is going to be a shot in the dark, and it really is. If I don't do something, everyone's going to be consumed by despair. And claim there's no hope left in the world, but if despair is contagious like you say, then so is hope. I'll use my own hope to plant seeds of hope inside everyone else. We won't give up. Okay. As long as there's hope, we'll never give up. If I were to die, that would be the end of Hope's Peak Academy. <laughs> Don't lose hope now. Okay. I get you. My fortune telling senses are telling me not to leave this place. My shot in the dark worked. Yeah! But to live means moving forward, right? So even if it's hard, even if we're scared, we don't have any choice, do we? Okay, so they want to keep on living. They want to open the next door. There must be something new waiting for me! So that's why. That's why. No matter what, I need to get out of here! The whole fortune telling thing doesn't matter anymore! What matters is my own gut feelings! Okay. We won't give up! As long as there's hope, we'll never give up! Okay. If I were to die. What happens with that Hero would be now? The end of Hope's Peak Academy. I've decided to have faith in myself. By the way, 
The okay. air outside is totally polluted, you know. The only reason we're okay in here is thanks to the air purifiers in the physics lab. Don't lose hope now. Okay. I'm literally on my last leg. I don't want to lose. I've been thinking about all this. And I was thinking, at a time like this, what would Sakura do? You only get stronger by taking adversity by the horns. Confront that thorny path with enthusiasm. That sounds like something she'd say, right? No. I think that's definitely what she'd say. Which is why I... I... Yeah! I've made up my mind! Uh. Give up. Okay, I'm getting my stuff back. If I were to die, I'm not skipping anything. I've decided to have faith in myself. By the way, the air outside is totally polluted, you know. The only reason we're okay in here is thanks to the air purifiers in the physics lab. Say whatever you want. I've made my decision. I can only if pause. We die, the purifiers will screech to a halt. In other words, as soon as I die, the communal life you've all been living will come to an end. Me. Don't okay. Hope now. It's intense. <laughs> Okay, copy. As long as there's hope, we'll never give up. If I were to die, that would be the end of Hope's Peak Academy. I decided to have faith in myself. By the way, the air outside is totally polluted, you know. The only reason we're okay in here is thanks to the air purifiers in the I gotta calm down. Say whatever you want. I've made my decision. If I die, the purifiers will screech to a halt. In other words, as soon as I die, the communal life you've all been living will come to an end. Two more. I can keep on living as long as I have my master's love. <laughs> all of you will have to leave. You'll have to go into the world outside, where only death and despair are waiting. Okay. Last one is finally Kyoko. Whew. What's the matter? You're not actually trying to encourage me, are you? <sighs> Ridiculous. It never even crossed my mind that I might give in to despair. But don't misunderstand me. I couldn't care in the slightest what happens to you. I just have to keep my word. I swore I would end the life of the mastermind. Besides, the Togami family isn't dead, because I'm still alive. So until I can restore the Togami family and bring it greater glory than it's ever known... We won't Ooh. give up! As long as there's hope, we'll never give up! I love that the music is coming in at the end. Oh! <laughs> that would be the end of Hope's Peak Academy. That's so good. I've decided to have faith in myself. By the way, the air outside is totally polluted, you know. The only reason we're okay in here is thanks to the air purifiers in the physics lab. Right. Say whatever you want. I've made my decision. If I die, the purifiers will screech to a halt. In other words, as soon as I die, the communal life you've all been living will come to an end. I can keep on living as long as I have my master's love. All of you will have to leave. You'll have to go into the world outside, where only death and despair are awaiting. I already said I would claim the Mastermind's life, by whatever means necessary. So, what are you gonna do? Okay. Will you just die? Is Last one. You want? Last frame. Don't lose hope now! 
Oh, <laughs> on the last leg possible. I don't really know my father, so I can't pretend to know what he was thinking. But even if we're just connected by blood, there's one thing I am sure of. He would never want us to abandon Makoto and choose to stay here. All right. I can't explain why exactly. But if I'm sure of anything, I'm sure of that. Just because we don't actually know anything, does that mean we can't understand? Could it be that... No, never mind. So, Makoto, I don't think you wound up at this school because you had good luck or bad luck. I think you came here for a different reason entirely. You came here to bring down the ultimate despair. Am I like the ultimate savior or something then? You came here to confront despair without ever giving up. The ultimate hope. Are you okay? And if that's true, I think we could call you the ultimate hope. What do you think? What the? <laughs> what the hell are you? The ultimate hope has been added to the truth bullets section of your handbook. Oh god, I'm gonna have to do one final fight, and then I have to use the ultimate hope bullet at the very end. So uncool. Your stupid faces, the stupid things you've said, the stupid way you all treat each other. It's all so uncool. So unhip. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Lame, 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 lame. Okay. I'm not any kind of elite anything. Hope isn't a talent you develop, but... But still... But I still... Oh, no... You suck! What do you want? Oh, God! You dare to stand against us? Hope is a joke! Who are you? It doesn't right-click sometimes, which I find really annoying. I can't. I can't right click sometimes. I don't know why. Okay. My eyes are watering. Yes, final strike. The Despair ultimate hope. Despair into tomorrow. Despair into your memories. Despair into nothingness. But no, no, I was well. Oh! <laughs> Why? Why would you do that? Why? Why is that a thing? Why would you put a voice line right there? I could. Oh, why? Why? Why does that change right there when I have less than a life? Actually, it wouldn't have mattered because I would have needed two lives. I would have needed three, two and a half lives to withstand that. And I literally broke my skin from that clap. What the fuck? Huh? Has the debate come to a close already? I did so well. And that's where it ends. <laughs> As the development brought you splendid despair. It did, didn't it? Of course it did. You're not utterly hopeless and my victory is desperately complete. With the despair in your hearts, you know what time it is. Are you ready? It's punishment time. <laughs> is this really the end for all of us? You're joking me. <laughs> Let's give it another shot. I refuse to give up yet. Oh, that is so dumb. Okay. Oh, I wanted to listen to the voice line. God. Okay, final strike with the ultimate hope. Into tomorrow. hope Shut up! I refuse to give up. I refuse to get bored. I refuse to throw it all away. I refuse to despair. Because all I have going for me is the desire to keep moving forward. What's going on? What's happening? Huh. Oh. Sixteen. I don't get any Monokuma coins? Oh, I do. Wait, I got an A rank at the end of that? We've reached the end. 
I think it may be time to vote. We just gotta pull the lever, right? Good! I'm ready to go! <laughs> Let's put an end to these trials. Put an end to the killing with our own hands. Marakuma vote! There we go. Ah, yes. The just desserts. Will you die? The hell? Indeed. You've lost, Junko. I lost? Oh god, I have to do the voices now. I lost? Me? No way. Well, that's just... It can't be! Uh, um... You still don't accept it? <laughs> Even the ultimate despair herself is vulnerable to the onslaught of despair. It would seem. What the heck? But there's no use trying to fight it now. Well, that's just... Totally the best! Oh! Huh? So this is despair. We came to this school two years ago, created our incredibly detailed plan. I even killed my own sister for it. I know, I... To come this far and fail at the very end? It's the most ultimately ultimate despair. Oh, what are you talking about? And now I... Don't you see? I was so hopelessly desperate. I was bored of the world of the moment I was born in. I don't know. That's why I've been looking forward to this so desperately. This once in a lifetime experience. It is my first and last colossal despair. Here at the moment of death. To have the chance to taste the highest great despair. The utter failure of my dreams. Then we just don't punish you. True despair. Uh, I'm so hopelessly happy right now. Huh? <laughs> Wait, is she enjoying this? Anyway. So you are prepared to admit defeat? <laughs> you think I care whether I won or lost? Either way, it doesn't change a thing. Totally the best! Outside is only despair. Inside is only despair. No matter where you go, despair awaits you. That's not true. Not possible. You're wrong. Huh? Don't make me repeat. Let me myself. tell you this right now. We will no longer fear despair. Okay. Because we've decided to enter the outside world with hope. <laughs> yeah, Makoto totally seduced us over to his side. <laughs> Everyone. Hey. You said that despair is as contagious as any disease. But the same is as true is true for hope. All you have to do is look at us to see how true that is. Uh, Yoko. <laughs> Flat. Stop it! Stop! I hate those faces you're making. To see those awful looks causes me nothing but pain. There's one last thing. Fine. Let me just say one thing. One last thing. If you guys want to get all hung up on the world of hope, that's no skin off my nose. But just be warned, from this point on, one despair after another will stand in your way. No matter where you run, no matter where you hide, maybe you'll find some hope, but there is a very fine line dividing that hope from bitter despair. <laughs> and knowing that, you still plan on to cling to your hope? Of course, because we... It's fine, it's fine. Shut up, shut up! That was a rhetorical question. You interrupted my monologue. I'm almost done though, so whatever. <laughs> because it's almost punishment time, right? It can't be. Do you really intend to go through with this? <laughs> that was the agreement, right? Oh, hold on! It's not like I want you to die. You don't have to. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it! What? How many times do I have to tell you? The act of living brings me no hope at all. <laughs> all I want now is to taste the despair of death. That you only get to that you only get once in life, so Don't get in my way. Um Oh. <laughs> oh, she really does have that laugh. Yikes. So this is how the despair of death feels. <sighs> it's so wonderful. Even a tenth of this despair. Even a hundredth. I want every last soul on this planet to taste such despair. I want the entire world to die with that despair in its mouth! Okay, let's do this. I love how her eyes are spinning in this. 
I've reserved an extra special punishment for last. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time! <laughs> Congratulations! Shunko has been found guilty. But the bear came from the other- Oh, time for punishment. I was about to say, Monokuma came from the other side. They're just walking. They're not being dragged to their death. Oh, all of them at once, huh? The ultimate punishment. <laughs> the 1,000 blows. The cage of death. The burning of the Versailles witch. <laughs> the excavator destroyer. Blast off. Oh, yeah. After school lesson. Is there more? Oh, that is the first one that we've seen with the actual blood. <laughs> What? Emergency override. You're set to off. It could have been stopped? And that's how everything came to an end. The final class trial. Junko Enoshima, the ultimate despair. Life at Hope's Peak Academy. It was all over. Ultimate pain, ultimate suffering, ultimate despair, ultimate execution, ultimate death. The end. You received the Monokuma hair tie present. Uh, do I want to save the data? Sure. Yes. Right there. Yeah. But even after saying it was all over, it's not like the building exploded or collapsed in on itself or anything. Oh, so what did I earn? Hold on. Sorry. I don't, uh, what did I earn? Oh, never mind. That was the kind of ending waiting for us. That wasn't the kind of ending waiting for us. Nothing changed. Well, with one exception. The air pur purifiers turned off. Just like Junko said. They shut off immediately. That was the only difference. Goodbye, Despair High School. Uh, the epilogue. I don't know how long this can be. Oh. We left the courtroom and made our way to the main hall. We stood in front of the door. Nobody made a sound. I, I felt almost absent-minded. This was our epilogue before the final ending. We were stuck there in limbo. Unmoving. I'm sure. But... In the end... Ooh. Hey. We can't just stand around like this forever. At some point, we need to leave. To, nobody to, no to nobody's surprise, it was Kyoko who broke the silence. Makoto. Would you do the honors? Okay. As if awakened by Kyoko's words, I took out the object we'd gotten. Oh, what the hell? Up until the moment of her death, it had belonged to Junko. And in the end, she dropped it before us. So, um... But, is that really it? Is that really the key to this door? Indeed. You don't have to read into what she said too much to find the answer. If... On the other hand, you desire to see us punished, then you must all leave this place. I will force you out, ensuring you all die horrible deaths in the outside world. In other words... I will force you out. She said that just before dropping that... dropping that. It makes sense that would be our way out of here. 
that it would be all the way out of here. <laughs> but you never know. Maybe it's actually a switch that's going to make the school self-destruct. I mean, Junko never said specifically that she'd let us leave here alive. It's true. You may be right about that. <laughs> Maybe. Yes. But even so, it's impossible to think that we wouldn't take our chances with it. Uh, um... <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> there is nothing to worry about. If something ever happened to Master, I'd take my scissors and jam them so far up. Oh. Huh? Hey, where's the courtroom? Where's the mastermind? Oh. It's all over. It's all over. We're just about to leave the school. <clears throat> what? Leave? We can go outside? <laughs> then that means me and Master can get married? And then he'll give me a little jewel of a baby. That's enough. Please stop. That would be a greater there would be that would be a greater horror than anything I've encountered so far. Anyway. Don't worry. I have no doubt that we'll be able to leave the here without a problem. But it's what happens after we get out that I'm worried about. <sighs> but you know, in the end, I I think part of me still thinks. For serious. M maybe. When we get out of there, we'll see that everything she said about the world was a lie. And on the other side of the door is a world as peaceful as we remember. A lie. Peaceful as we remember. Well, no matter what it looks like, it's still our world. It's where we're meant to live. Uh, um... <laughs> yeah, I, I guess so. And... How do I put this? Unlike this school, the world is really big, right? Since it's so big, I'm sure there must be some despair- uh, the... Since it's so big, I'm sure there must be some despair no matter what. But there also has to be a lots of hope, right? In other yeah, I didn't know where he was going with that at first. <laughs> the act of searching for hope. To try and find it. That by itself is the true meaning of hope. As long as you have hope, you can keep moving forward. No matter what trouble may fall into. Am I wrong? Is that what you mean, Makoto? I yeah. That's pretty much the gist of it. <laughs> I don't need any of you to spell that out for me. You know, Junko mentioned that there were... That there were still others out there who hadn't cast away hope just yet. <laughs> Maybe I should find them and make them work for me. To rebuild the world, we must first rebuild the Togami Dynasty. <laughs> I'll go with you. I'll follow you anywhere you want to go. You got it! Well, my first stop is gonna be the closest donut shop. I can I can figure out the rest from there. Hey. And what are you gonna do if there are no more donut shops? Or donuts? Okay. I'll just get some flour and make some myself. And if there's no flour, I'll just grow some wheat. <gasps> I get it now. Hmm. If there's no road, you just gotta build one. Creation. Fate is telling me to remake the world. Could it be? That's my hope. How about that? I've reached the next stage. The next chapter of Yasuhiro Hagakure's life story is about to begin. Woo! Thanks, Hina. You've totally opened my eyes. Oh. Hey, personal space, buddy. You're seriously creeping me out. Did he hug her or something? Makoto. Come on, Makoto. Even if everyone in the outside world is gone, even if the world is steeped in despair. <laughs> As long as I have people like you around, I can face forward and keep moving. If we can get out of there and do something, have some sort of impact. Ooh. But what can we do? There's so few of us, and we're so small. So what can we do? What can we do? No. We can probably do anything. Yeah! We can do anything! This is goodbye. And goodbye to Sakura. But hey, if we gotta say goodbye, we may as well do it with a smile on our face. Hey guys! You guys want your fortunes told anywhere, anytime. You just let me know. I'll be there. <laughs> you know how much I hate being annoyed. But if something does come up, you may as well let me know. I can't guarantee I'll actually bother listening, but, you know. <laughs> I 
don't know why, but I have a burning desire to start writing. I okay. might be able to pull it off. A story about Master and me, and the others, I guess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't say I'm sorry about what happened, but still, it does feel kind of strange. I really don't know what to say. I guess we graduated? It looks like hope really is spreading. As long as I never give up. I have to push even harder. I'm going to keep moving forward with hope in my heart. And since I have hope, I can show courage. Since I have hope, I can move ahead. The world can move ahead. Did his eyes move to look at the button? The door began to open. With my hands... With our hands, hope and despair mingled together, opening the door to the future. Oh, I thought those were just about to aim at us and just... What the fuck is that? What was spinning? And that's how it ends? Open ended? Okay. That's how it ends. Megumi Ogata. Makiko. Makiko. Omoto. Takahiro Sakurai. Kosuke. Remuri, Akira, Ishida, Kazuya, Nakai. Okay, I, I would like to keep reading Kapei, Yamaguchi, Masaya, Matsukaze. I'll read through the Japanese script. Yoko, Hikasa, Chiwa Saito, Miyuki Sawashiro, Kujira for Sakura. Really? Only one name. Hekiro Shina, Megumi Toyoguchi, Koki Miyata. I love this game. And Monica... Nobuyo Oyama, N N Monomi Usami, Takako Sasuga. What? Okay, now now it's uh, everyone in production. Okay, as much as I would like to read everybody's name, eventually I have to say my words. Holy hell, I love this game. I really did. I've always been a fan of sleuth type games, and I even said that from the very beginning. I think it was the first like three episodes. So. Doing this was a lot of fun. Um, I I enjoyed every minute of it. Of of course, there's gonna be some gripes with how like there's writing or there's uh, some writing issues, but uh, in the end, it it just all comes to be one experience that I've enjoyed wholeheartedly. So, I'm wondering, because I know for a fact that there is a second game, which I hope that you're looking forward to coming through, uh, coming out and watching, and there's also a third game, and there's also a third anime, uh, well, there's also a, a season one anime, which I think I'm gonna sit, sit myself down to watch, uh, and if you're looking forward to that, I might actually, uh, record just the reaction to see how they handled it, uh... But, I know that there's some extra to go alongside of, uh, uh, the second game. So, there's something there, and then the third anime that I'll watch, and then the third game, which I know is different. But, I enjoy this so much. <laughs> I honestly couldn't ask for anything more, because this is... I don't know. I... I'm just gonna keep singing his praises because I, I honestly enjoyed this so much. I mean, obviously, yeah, we lost our friends along the way, and that's gonna suck. But what we ended up do, what we ended up experiencing was uh, our friends with our with their mind, uh, minds wiped. We ended up watching 
uh, complete strangers kill strangers. And... I don't know if that could be construed into all the despair that Junko wanted in the end, but... I don't know. Uh... So... There's one thing that... I wanted to mention, but... I don't know if it'll come at the end, because there's one thing that I wanted to talk about, and I don't know if maybe it'll come at the end of the credits, or, uh, end of the credits, or maybe, uh, with something special that I know exists, so I'm just gonna wait for that to, this to play out, and then we can talk further, but everyone who worked on this game wholeheartedly deserve everything that you did to work on this. It was all so cool. The the art, the story, like the full emotion like that I was able to feel while playing it, it was so good to be able to bring that out and to have such a cult following for this game. Well, not even like a cult following, just appraisal for this game is insane. I guess, thank you Spike Chunsoft. <laughs> and what's to come next? Is there an after credit scene? Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Interesting. Things are getting very interesting indeed. <laughs> it's the same goddamn laugh. So she survived. Like I said at the beginning, I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma. And I am your... I am this school's... Headmaster. Hmm. Whoa. You received the Easter egg present. Uh, all's well that ends. Um, is the, is the trophy name. Do I want to save the data? Yes. In that one. Overwrite that. Okay, um... Okay, so, before I do anything else, there was something that was mentioned, uh, let me check that real quick, hold on, while I've got this here, school mode, this is a what if simulation type play mode, what if, what, okay, 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 now, now I understand, um, okay, that's saved, what happens if I continue? Uh, the game will begin from where you last left off. Is this okay? Epilogue. Ending. Yes? I made one bad decision to just see what continue does, and that's all that it costs me. And now I can't go anywhere. I can't escape. Why? Wait, hold on. It hold on. If I go to controls, left shift, F1 key, open handbook menu, I should be. Oh, I'm, I'm not even gonna be able to do that until I get the handbook, am I? This game plans you on re uh plans for you to read through two hours of text without stopping once. Okay, come on. Nothing. Still can't do anything. Uh, now you have access to the handbook menu. Thank fuck! If I really wanted to do this, I would go through it again. Uh... Port card. Okay, these guys still technically have their things. Are still leveled up. Presence. Go all the way to the end. Is this... That's the Easter egg. Monokuma hair ties. Okay, yeah, I did read that. Uh, Dream Island Rocket. I 
cleared chapter 5, 6. Uh, I cleared the epilogue. Uh, it serves as a graduation token for all those who made it out of Hope's Peak. Is it a symbol of hope or of despair? Um, the school crest. Okay, this is... Oh, I've got two of them. Interesting. Okay, so you can earn multiple of these. Interesting. So then, what the hell is this stuff? If this is all story-driven things... What? Okay, um... I might have to do some snooping to figure it out, because... I know that there's an item right here that's after this one that triggers a story event. So this is also a story event, but I don't really know. If I wanted to go back through the game, I would, and I would reread everything. I wouldn't actually mind. I'd do it all over again. I probably wouldn't earn as many coins, but... Ooh, 598. That's a, that's a lot to go through. Um, let me... Load... The end of the epilogue. Okay. Uh, I'm doing this. Yes, all unsaved progress will be lost. I don't tr truly care. Okay, good. I was worried that it was going to jip me out of being able to do this. <sighs> this is a what-if simulation type play mode. Uh, what if one person voted? Is that what it's supposed to be? One person voted for Makoto? I don't know. I'm pretty sure there might be a... There might be a lot of script for school mode, and possibly for this other thing that I want to show off, but it depends, because I don't know if I can earn the thing that I want here, but I was told that if I go to extras in the movie gallery, there... Let's see, I don't know if it'll say if anything's locked. Okay, yeah. This thing is locked, and I won't spoil it, because I, I technically don't even know what it is. But I know that it, that it's the same thing as... What? Hold on, hold on, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna... When I when I do this, I'm gonna blur what I need to do for, for this section. That... Okay, hold on. I... Let me, let me back up. Okay. So I just entered the movie gallery. And at the very end of the list, it says that there's a lock thing. I went through it, and there's even something that was spoiled for me. So the issue is, is that there was one thing that I was spoiled on that I thought was going to happen in Chapter 6, but it doesn't happen at all, which is odd to say the least. But, um... Oh, I, I gotta wrap my head around this. So... Okay, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna break it up uh, from this episode. There's a, there's a lot that I need to cover uh, in the next episode. I'm really glad to call this the end, but hopefully you're looking forward to a ghost episode of this game, and then what's to come of game two or reaction for anime one, uh, game two, uh, something special with game two that comes after it directly. Uh, anime 3, and then game 3 as well. I hope- I- I- Oh! <laughs> There's a lot. There is definitely a lot. Uh, if I go to the school store, right here handed the almighty Monokuma machine. Oh, I can do this right now? Okay, okay, that makes a little bit more sense. Um, let me... Oh wait, no, I have to- I have to press R, right? Yeah, okay. So, um... Oh. Okay. So... I, I don't know. I'm leaving this episode here. I'll figure out what I need to do. Uh, but for now, I'm leaving this here. I... Okay. Uh, thank you so much for coming out, but I'm leaving this episode here. Have a nice day.